I think when nobody wants to do the work to bridge, you can get away with it. Nobody in this bunch back here wants to be the one man to drag everyone over. I'm gonna use this feather, stir things up a little bit. Maybe we're not the only ones. Bad idea. Yep, it's just gonna have to be a monster minute. Beast out, try to break the elastic. Hey folks, moderate cyclist here, back with some more B does A racing. Today we've got stage three of Lap It Up. Unfortunately missed stage two. So we're gonna have to make it up in Lap It Up stage three. Seaside sprint, we're about 20 kilometers, pretty undulating, no major climbs. I did watch Doom Guy do this earlier in the week. I managed to get the win here in Cap B, so I'd love to be able to say I'm gonna do the same. Looks like we got eight in here. Trying out a little bit of new technology today. I'll give a bit of a recap of that maybe throughout or at the end. All right, let's strap in and see what this field's looking like today. It's always telling to see how aggressive these starts are. Although I tend to find when, when they start gently, usually signifies there's a sleeper in the ranks, especially in Cat A. Straight on the garbage truck. It's a real shame to have missed Lap It Up Stage 2. Reverse on Glasgow Crit. Looks like a lot of fun. It's been a month full of commitments for me, April. Juggling commitments with racing and training. If you haven't seen my latest vlog about my recovery techniques, I encourage you to check that one out. Topical for me, it's recovery week. That midweek in the middle of my block. I'm supposed to be taking it easy today. It's meant to be tempo. Don't tell my coach, future coach. Check out the block. How do you like to tackle these Z monthly events? I see a lot of riders out there, they'll do it three, four, five times. I tend to only find time for one crack at each one. Although I think there is a big crew amongst us. Racing is training. Is that you? 
tell me how that works for you. Someone else can bridge us over there. That's it, my boys. Ruthie can see us all snoozing. Probably a good time to attack back there. Can he hold it though? That's always the question. Nobody wants to do the work to bridge and get away with it. Nobody in this bunch back here wants to be the one man to drag everyone over. Here we go.
if I should drop that feather back there. Someone's going to make a move soon. Let's have a little squeeze. See if SM comes with. Mr. Gibson. M for Mel. Bit of a scramble, eh? All right, two more of these. Feather, eh? Let's 
drop it into the volcanoes this time. I think that banner gives you another power up. Lost opportunity last night. Sitting in now, I think. Mid pack, middle of the race. It's kind of what happens in B a lot. I did do a bit of the recon. I think there's a handful of B runners in here. I mean, actual B. I'm just, yeah, B does A like myself. I think Ruthie up the front. He was a bit of a wild card. Privacy settings set to max, couldn't see what he was in his profile. Guessing A, A plus. stir things up a little bit. Maybe we're not the only ones. That idea. the same mistake last lap. Take the chances we can to whittle away at Wither's legs. I'm definitely going to steal your move on this one. You can only hope for a feather.
drives the truck into the undulating hills. I suppose if I get a truck on the last lap, I to say really. Maybe use it for that final downhill before the sprint. Assuming you're in the wheel. See how long it takes to get from the bottom of that hill. So I reckon I can make it a 200, 200, sorry, two minute effort, not 200 meters. Some feathers ready to go off on this hill. Haven't seen any trucks. I reckon McClellan is probably thinking that way. He pulled that move last lap. Alright, this is it. We got 21 on the clock. More feathers. It's going to be one, a big one minute. Pretty much bang on. That's got to be it, huh? Can we just hang on to that feather? That'll do. set up. He's got a minute 16 on us. He doesn't need to push anymore, I think.
Yep, it's just gonna have to be a monster minute. Beast out, try to break the elastic. Lane slift, slift? Lane shift on the downhill, across the bridge. Lawson's putting down some watts. He doesn't want to go into this with a sprint, I don't think. Slow plans, right? Shit.
You got it, boy. Good first move, mate. SM just hit that. Maybe that one roller before I was going. Kind of put me on the ropes. Oh, I had to sit up, just trying to have legs for another attack in the sprint, but it was too much. He had too much of a lead. I couldn't bring it back. Oh. Good run. Ruthie, almost 400 watts. 5.2 watts per kilo. That's an A plus right there, ladies and gentlemen. Olsen. Smart, very tactical play. Only 3.9 for the average. For the early break is enough. But if at all, happy Wednesday racing. All right, so who actually stayed to the end? Who are the true Zwift racing nerds out there? Who wanted to catch the DL on the tech upgrades today? All right, here it is. So I normally run off an Apple TV. Um, it's great, connects to the TV. I got a big widescreen in front of me. Um, it's a pretty good experience, right? The problem is it's hard to record from an Apple TV. There are a few options. You can wirelessly connect it into a PC or a Mac and record it that way. It's not super reliable, run to cut out slags, etc. So, and that. I then resorted to recording on an iPad directly and then jacking the iPad into the TV. That's been going pretty good. You've seen a lot of those videos. I like the format. You're kind of limited, you don't get full 4K. You're kind of stuck in that letter part, 4 3 video format. Cool. So, I just picked myself up an Elgato. Uh, like video capture box. I got the model, the, the Elgato HD60X. So it's just a little box, I'll put some footage up of it. Um, basically, you plug it into your TV, you plug it into your Apple TV, you pull a jack out of it into your iPad, and then the iPad can just record the Apple TV. It works really seamlessly. The footage that you've watched racing today has come out of that setup. Seems good, records at 4K. There is actually a 4K Elgato box that Zwift won't leverage, won't utilize it. It's not worth spending the extra 200 bucks. Cool, so that's number one. Number two, microphones. So I was running with the GoPro right up in my face, talking directly into the GoPro as I raced. The problem is as you add lighting, as you add microphones, it obstructs the vision of the screen. So, I've pushed the iPad now back behind the screen. I've got the lighting up there. Lighting could be the next problem because I'm not sure that the key light I've got is going to illuminate me well enough from that far away. That's the next problem. But I've added some Rode Wireless Go microphones. So that just connects onto uh, the GoPro. I have a little unit here. Basically, it means I can talk into the microphone here, beams it up to the GoPro, records the footage. So those are the two mods today. I would love to hear your feedback. Oh, I'm looking at you as with racing community. Let me know what you think. As always, if there's any tips, tricks, feedback on the race, leave it as a comment. If you've got any tips, trips, tip, trips, tips, tricks, questions about any of my recording setup, drop it in there as well. But. Other than that, folks, until next time, 
See ya.